Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgie, and this is Gnome, a band I had never heard of until somebody recommended. And, and I discovered this rather amazing stoner rock band, but and I'm not a stoner rock fan, but it's not really fair to pigeon them, hold them quite like that, because I really enjoyed it. So they definitely have something more going on for them than that. But that's only one song. I have not heard this album. Um, and even though I really liked Twins of the Slice, I didn't rush out and get the album. So they got this album called King. Um, and my sons tell me it's really good. So they're f pretty switched on, to be honest. So... Um, so I thought, you know what? Let's have another look at uh, let's have a look at another song by by Gnome. This is Ambrosius. Uh, I not heard it. Genuinely not heard it. But I liked Wenceslas last. It was completely quirky. Um, but but there was just something about it. You thought, you know what? This is actually quite good. Um, rather than just being the video was kind of like a novelty, and I, and you couldn't stop watching it. You just like totally sucked in but as i've said like a thousand times on this channel you're not watching that video when you're listening to this song in your real life you're driving down the road or you're cooking dinner or whatever excuse me <coughs> um i should have just edited that out shouldn't i yeah yeah so what was i saying oh yes so is the song any good basically the video might be fantastic but is the song any good so Let's do another song by Gnome, because I, my interest has certainly been piqued. And, like I say, my, both my sons kind of both got this, I think, almost as soon as it came out. And they tell me it's really good. So, so. <clears throat> they, they go all out on the, uh, on the amazing locations of this band, don't they? Right, I don't pause my videos. I used to. I don't pause them anymore, but I just did. Why did I just pause it? Because... Wrong button. Because... Let me go back. Look at the drummer's drums. You'll see they've got those black circles on them. Those are called dead heads. And they basically stop his drums making any sound. So when you're recording a video, having the drums clattering away is really annoying. And uh, I like the fact that they've made... Uh, no effort to hide the fact at all that those are completely deadheaded drums.
Laat eens drie keer. Mag je maar? Right. Ga je maar doen. Um, I hope they don't get really super big and famous, and it ruins. I mean, I hope they do, but I mean, I hope it doesn't ruin that that we don't really care kind of thing they've got going on. Um, it's more of a more like an instrumental that one, isn't it? Um, to play that one live, the audience is pretty much going to know all the words. So those giant dirty riffs are just just glorious, aren't they? That's just maybe I maybe there is a little bit of the stoner rock in me. <laughs> um but you just it's such a head nodder. That kind of heavy heaviness but really entertaining fretwork. That's no other I was going to say there's no other word for it, but I'm sure there are about a thousand other words for it. I'm sorry if you can hear the fan on my PC, by the way. It's really hot here today, and my PC is going... <coughs> um, so my fans are going, and I can, I can hear them, so I'm pretty sure this thing can too. That's not important right now. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure if they got permission to film in my kitchen, but um, hey-ho. They really pulled out the stops when it came to location, didn't they? Like Wensler's last, where they're just dancing on a dirty road. A dirty road? Are you going to go any clean roads? A muddy road. It's a much better word. Can't. Sorry, I'm running these teeth in for a horse. Um. Yeah, I'm struggling because once I've got to the, wow, that's like a really entertaining, dirty, fat riff. After that, struggling a bit, really, it, because that's that's what it is in a nutshell it's one thing um grooved on you know here's what we're gonna do and we're just gonna groove on the theme of this 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 riff and um and out came that which is a very entertaining that was five minutes so you know most most bands probably wouldn't get more than two and a half minutes out of that out of a riff <laughs> so I really liked it. I think I should definitely listen to the album. I've got a feeling I would like it. Yeah, I think I probably would. I, I'm sorry, struggling for lots of things to say because there's not lots of things to say about it. You could see the drummer have been told not to hit his cymbals very hard because they're too noisy. We'll deadhead all your drums and obviously we won't plug in any of the guitars because we're playing in my grandmother's old greenhouse or something and she won't like it. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I always do that, by the way. If I'm watching a video, I always have a look at the drums because quite often you'll see drummers and they don't look like they're trying very hard and that's because they've been told not to. To please play your drums, but play them quietly. Which is a bit like saying, yeah, you can fire your cannon, but we need it to be like quiet cannon fire, you know? Um, so, uh, so you'll see them like padded or deadheads like that or... Or whatever and you see them just kind of tapping them if they haven't if they haven't muted it all you'll see them kind of playing very tentatively <sighs> not important see you soon not a lot to say other than i really liked it it's a thing it's one thing stretched out but very well done see you soon bye bye <laughs>